This car, it drives a lot better now um, that I've greased the diffs. And I use those marine, marine uh, grease, the, the dynamite marine grease. And I can do this now. And I couldn't do that before. Jesus. Yeah, that car is insane. Oh, was that him? I thought so. I'm like, who would be pulling in here this late? I'm glad that guy had a chance to leave. Yeah, that was my friend. What? Really? Yeah. Did you see him? I... Did he see you, I mean? I waved at him, but I don't think he saw me. He's like, no, that can't be... That can't be... Oh, really? So this sweet little car. Yeah. <laughs> How's it going? Yeah, this thing is a sweet little car. And it's got a slightly more weight to it because I put a bigger motor in it. Um, same pinion, you can only use one pinion size on these unless you devise your own motor mount somehow. I'm sure you could 3D print one in order so it's not like a perfect alignment with that. You know, the way it is now, it's like a little V-shaped um, motor mount that the motor screws onto and it slides down into a slot and it's perfectly centered. But if you made one of those little V's and you made it so it wasn't perfectly centered, off to one side just a little bit you could get it further away from the motor and get a bigger pinion on there but this is a good all-around pinion i mean unless you wanted to turn this car into a speed car but i think it i mean it wouldn't be a bad candidate um it's kind of got short wheelbase but it could be done. It's got okay weight to it. Just get a get maybe make some some droop screws. Get the thing lowered to the you know, or maybe adjust the shock somehow. Limit the uh, the amount of travel in the shocks. All the tricks different wheels definitely get some foams on here different ESC yeah you wouldn't want to use that 35 amp it's great but um, if you want to keep pushing it you'd have to get a different ESC but it's pretty squirrely So right now, you saw it, it goes around 30 something, I think. I could get a GPS on it, I just don't want to spend the time doing that right now. I have an app on my phone now and everything, I finally got that connected and talking to each other. But yet, uh, when I opened up these diffs, they were lubricated, but they're, they're not filled because I don't think they're sealed diffs. Um, I had to use grease, but they're much better now. They don't just spin and spin anymore. Um, before they would just spin and spin, but see, it's it's much better. And also, I had to add these little spacers here because when I put this bumper on here, it's not the exact same length as the one that came, the little spacer that came out of here. Um, so. I, you know, see there's a little space there. I had to add that so I didn't have a bunch of wobble there. Um, but it should be good like this and I, I definitely wanted a bumper on this. I, I use it, it gets used. And I had one of these extra, they come extra with the HBX cars. 
because you have the option to use the solid one or the one with holes for lights. And if I had if I had an extra one of those when, with holes for lights, I would have. Uh, I definitely have extra lights um, that are just sitting on hand, and it would this would be nice with some lights in it. But it's not necessary because I never run my cars at night. But it, they're helpful in telling the direction in, in a square car anyway. This one you can kind of see. You know, it doesn't look the same forwards and backwards. Ooh. So what would be nice is to get a little gyro in this car though. Put a decent receiver in it. But this is a two-in-one receiver, so... Um, you got to go with what this is but it could it would definitely be a better performer with a better um, servo in here it's not even as good as the one in the HBX cars um, it's decent but um, not as fast but it's plenty good for this car Ooh, it gets the job done. Oh. And Stu's got the always awesome. <laughs> that car just screams. Do you think he thought I was rude for not coming over? No. Okay, some you know some people are a little weird about that. No, he was fine with that. Ooh. Yeah, there's definitely no contest in terms of power. That's definitely a stronger car, the WL Toys. Yeah. But it's not as durable. This one will definitely take a beating more than that one. And that car is much faster. Built to be. It's impressively fast. Yeah, it is. But you know, the problem with the dog, that car, the dog bones are so weak. Yep. Um, you can bend them yeah, easily. Yeah, yeah. No, yeah, I know. With your hands. These are nice and thick. <gasps> These are, are like, the same length? oh no, they're super, it would be nice, but these are nice and thick dog yeah, bones. Look are. at those. I was just saying, <laughs> yeah. we could switch them out. They actually, yeah, they having... look like they taper, but maybe that's an illusion. No, relax? they do. Um, yeah, I even bought some um, aftermarket WL Toys um, dog bones, CVDs actually that are connected, you know, to the, um, and the slightest little. So I guess if you find some, you gotta maybe get from a, like a real RC company, you know? Yeah, I got a streak in it. <laughs> Cause even WL Toys doesn't. I a couple of those. Yeah, even WL Toys doesn't make upgraded, you know, like stronger ones, they don't even make them. It's funny, it's the back ones that get bent. My front ones are straight. Well, I imagine it's because the wheel doesn't turn. Right. When they're cartwheeling. Yeah, you're right. But it would definitely be nice to find some stronger dog bones for those cars. That's Woo! Almost hit that. Yeah, better take off. I'm just gonna eat at home. It's much cheaper. All right, bud. Do you want to get together this weekend at all? Yeah, I would. I don't know if we're gonna have weather for racing, but I will. No, we could always jam. That I would, would like be fun. Hi right, guys. I really would. Cool. This is an amazing little car. If you pick one up, you won't be disappointed. 
although if you run them on 3s i suggest you beef up the motor like i did this is a, a much well not much bigger but it's definitely a bigger motor um, and it doesn't do all that herky-jerky stuff um, nearly as often as the smaller motor it's the same um, diameter but or circumference whatever um, but this one's longer and I think it's a different KV like but anyway works great take it easy guys